we're just sort of waiting with bated breath and we hope that it gets resolved this year at some point and, and maybe they can tear this place down or deem it habitable one, of, one way or the other. The landslide on a Penticton home has stabilized for the moment, allowing the city to change the evacuation orders to just the single property soon. Um, what the city has done is reduce the, uh, or will be reducing the evacuation order uh, down to the uh, single property on Creekside, um, trying to maintain the safety protocols there. Um, and then the surrounding neighbors, uh, they are no longer going to be on a, an alert notice. Currently, structural and geotechnical engineers are assessing the condition of the home and determining if it can remain or not. We, the, the residents of the community or the street, just hope that the city is able to resolve this thing in the next, you know, six months. I, yeah, I take it because it's uh, it is a bit of an eyesore and it is a danger. Actually, an, an empty building like that is 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 a fire hazard and could be an attractant to folks that want to live in it. Uh, we're hoping to get, uh, again, working with the engineers involved is to get a final assessment of what caused it and again, a game plan of how it could be remediated. But um, because it's on private lands, it's really the two private lands owner and their insurance companies and their professionals to really start uh, working on it on a game plan. Um, we're just ensuring that uh, it is moving forward and, and ensuring that the, the public safety of neighboring properties are, are safe. A turn in the weather could easily change what happens to the slide and reintroduce evacuation orders for the area. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Casey Richardson.